everyone and welcome back to Webtoon Rant. Today everyone we have got the Webtoon player. Now the players about this kid named Seol Seoljin, Ha Seoljin. And Seoljin is kind of a loser in real life. He has no friends and he's looked down upon by everyone in his class. And he's quite sick because he feels as if other people is the main character while he is just a side character. A pretty typical I'm a loser right now and I, and I think of the world in characters kind of self insert MC kind of moment, but believe me, it does get better. So we get kind of right into it. And Seoljin, in his bitterness, sees well is reading a webtoon that's kind of like, it, it's kind of cringe in his opinion. And he's mad that, you know, cringe, there's cringy MCs like this, and he's not the MC of his own life. Main character, by the way, MC. So he decides to write an angry comment about how lame the main character's attack was, and says that he could be a better main character than him if he was within the story of the webtoon. And guess what? Exactly that happens. Because he's transported into the world of the webtoon, where he is given a weapon, a weapon with a, sent a sentient weapon who can turn into a girl named Excalibur by this god who calls himself Arthur, and he is put into the world for Arthur, the god's enjoyment, and he becomes the main character, hence why the name Player, because he's the player of his of the web too. And overall, the story is about him like climbing a tower, so like you know those pretty typical tower webtoons where the main character levels up, goes to the first floor, second floor, third floor, there are guilds, there are conflicts. It's basically, you know, every every freaking webtoon that was inspired by Tower of God after Tower of God became super popular. And it's that type of webtoon, it's that kind of leveling up webtoon, and that trope is there. However, it distincts itself from the other kinds of tower climbing webtoon by having this amazing character development. And it's like he starts by being like a very self-pitying loser. And then he becomes this. He becomes a self-confident person who actually believes in what he's doing. A main character of his own story. And overall, the webtoon carries the inspiring message of taking control of your own life, which is pretty amazing. And all of the characters are just amazing and magnetic. And they're just super, super cool. And characters like Dean, which is this person, the rank number two of the tower, who is like this awesome badass and just magnetic character. And other characters, for example, the person who guards the place, who, who believes that everything should be protected and has a very strong, dignified stance of protection towards the village of the starter of the tower on the first floor, well, before you enter the tower. And even the villains, like Mirage, is just so magnetic and amazing. And their stories and all of that, like, it kind of breaks the fourth wall in a way. Because it's like we're watching a character in a webtoon, in a webtoon, right? And we have all these characters kind of struggling with their various stories, and that the webtoon kind of plays with that concept of these characters are semi-aware of the fact that they are within a webtoon. A story made for entertainment, made for our enjoyment, made for God's enjoyment. And their suffering and dying and their stories are all just for that. And that's really symbolized by the fact that their power or like mana, I guess, is called karma. As in, you know, like your karma, your reputation. And that is built up, that is like their power source. And I think that's like pretty awesome because it kind of connects to the entire theme of how these stories of these characters are really put together. It has, again, to summarize, it has amazing magnetic characters, amazing heroes, amazing villains, a really creative MC. Well, not creative, but it follows a trope, but it kind of breaks it as it goes on. And it has really good art. Like, look at this crap. Like, it looks great. It just it is very visually appealing. Like, the fight scenes are amazing. And it has some great action scenes. And it's, and it's really, really, really great. And I gave this um, webtoon currently an A tier because of the character development, because the consistency of the themes, the execution, even though it does follow a trope, it still does a good job with it and kind of carries it on. 
and it does it does a good job being consistent with its themes and it does a great job of executing these beautiful emotive character moments that we all love and because of those combination of things again i give an eight here would highly recommend people to read this the art style might need some getting to used to i mean i guess the art style kind of is is not exactly your typical like super sharp handsome webtoon style but it still looks really really good it is very very high quality and i would highly recommend it again eight here have a great everyone it was webtoon rand goodbye